What's up everybody, welcome back. We got Luffy today. Hacky control or hacky training. Right? It's kind of like a cool image of him, like concentrated with his fist right in front of his face. So, because the fist is like the dominant thing in the foreground, so it's the thing like protruding most, we're gonna start with that because it covers his head, right? So, what we do, pencil eraser, first of all, use a pencil eraser for these. Hit pause if I go too fast. And what's the other rule? Have fun. <laughs> Try to at least. So knuckles, just up here, near the top of my page. And yeah, let's rock. Let's go up. So like these, that's his index finger knuckle, right? So just like a mountain. And then we add a few more mountains to the mountain range coming down this way. Okay. Index. Middle finger, ring finger, pinky. Okay, and then pinky line goes down. Index finger line goes down also. <clears throat> so just to get an idea, so knuckles like here. Okay, so then we go down to, towards his wrist. So we got like the side of his hand goes out this way, and then his wrist bone sticks out, goes in there, okay. And then his thumb, just in behind his like index finger. And so we go, out like so, down, out for another bone. line just there and then this goes down like so to his wrist okay wrist becomes forearm so forearm gets wider as we go down and then we bring it around like so it goes off the bottom of my page it'll go to an elbow if you want like a pointy elbow and then back up this is all I can fit in and then comes down like that and then we have his like bicep slash tricep area here just kind of bumps around and then his shoulder there okay so then he's got hacky right so it's kind of this shiny stuff so we'll just draw an edge Right, like that. That would be like left bluey, sort of white or something. And then this goes up around. I've seen him color lots of different shapes. These bubbles every now and then. And then up around the edge here as well. Like that. And then we got like some bubbly things on his knuckle lines. This one kind of just joins that one. Something on his thumb here as well. So all these outside edges will be lightly colored and the inside will be like black. Put some on his arms here as well. Kind of like that. Okay, we'll move over and do his face. So easiest way, so he's got like an, a closed eye, right? So we'll just do this kind of curved eyelid line there. And then you just thicken this up. Okay, roughly like this. And then his scar underneath, like so. A tick line for his eyebrow. 
and then some frowning lines just there. Might thicken up his eyebrow a little bit. He doesn't have an eyelid line in this, but I'm going to give him one. Just a little extra detail. Like that. Then his nose. So it's kind of like a straight line. Comes down here. And then kind of kicks in for his bridge of his nose and then a nostril to the side. And then his mouth, just a downturned, kind of serious mouth, like so. Bottom lip line there, maybe like a shadow underneath. And then his chin, relatively pointy chin. Like so, and it just goes around then. So that sort of U-shaped curvy sort of face. Right, roughly like that. Then sideburn here, right? So sideburn there, and that becomes his ear, which goes around. I do like drawing one piece characters because they're so simple in drawing. It's just very simple design. Naruto as well. When they're facing forward, maybe. Ear lines inside here. That sort of stuff. And then fringe. So just hair spikes covering his forehead. Simple enough. So things like that. And this one goes up behind his knuckles there. And then we have some hair spikes that come around here. Spiking out. And then we go around the top of his head. His It's one o style, so he's got this kind of top knot here, which goes off my page, right? Just goes up that. It's like just a rectangle. And then the rest of the hair. Go around there. Neck down like that. This becomes his shoulder out and down, like so, and then tricep, depending on how muscly you want to make him, like that. So, center line for his chest, right? Oops, just there. Ignore that line, it can be a scar or a scratch. <laughs> And then the bottoms of the chest, one bumps down there, one bumps around this way, like so. And then the side of his body there, and then like another shoulder line or something like so. Collarbones here, so your collarbones start like just in the middle of your chest and go run towards your shoulder, like your AC joint in your shoulder. So that'd be like about here. And then the other collarbone, that way. And then his nipple, there. Diaphragm kind of ab, ab muscles there. He doesn't have necklines, but I'm gonna give him necklines because I wanna. And his scar, don't forget the scar. Center of his chest, like X marks the spot, sort of thing. You got like just scar lines inside, texture lines, just to show that it's different, sort of bumpy texture than the rest of them. And then his hat is tied around his neck. Goes around the shoulder. There, around the other shoulder. Like that, and then just the hat. So, won't be enough sort of straw hat. Like that. 
and then it's my texture just going down and that's it that is how to draw luffy hacky control hope was helpful thanks for watching see you in the next one bye bye, -bye.